Hi, this is Ms. Fazone, and this is Objective 18. This is taught on Wednesday the 8th for Algebra 2, factoring when x squared has a coefficient. So let's do a quick review of multiplying. So if you have 3x plus 4 times 2x plus 7, and the second one is 4x plus 9 times x minus 3, pause the video, multiply those out. It's two binomials multiplying, so what do you do? We need 3x to multiply 2x plus 7, and then we also need that 4 to multiply 2x plus 7, and we're double distributing. So 3 times 2 is 6. x times x is x squared. 3x times 7, 27x. And then the second set, 4 times 2x is 8x and 4 times 7 is 28. And then don't forget we combine those middle two terms and we get 6x squared plus 29x plus 28. And we're done. Okay. Second one, same idea, 4x times x plus 3, sorry, x minus 3, and then 9 times x minus 3. Distribute 4x squared minus 12x plus 9x minus 27, Put those middle two together, 4x squared minus 3x minus 27, okay? All right, so today we're going to be doing the reverse of what we just did. So remember, what's factoring? What is the definition of factoring? Not factoring the noun, but factoring the verb. What does it mean to factor? To its reverse distributive property. But even more important, it's writing a polynomial as a product of two or more polynomials. All right. Factoring, writing something as a product. So if I gave you 4x squared minus 3x minus 27, to factor would be go backwards. We're, this is a product, okay? So it's backwards distributive property. Instead of having a product multiplying out, here's your pro, here's your trinomial. Write it this way. So notice in the two problems we just did, you have that six in front of x squared. Can you divide everything by six to factor it? No. Can you divide everything by four? No. You're going to get decimals, and it's gross and horrifying. So we don't want to use that method to factor these. So we're going to use something called the slide method. Okay. All right, so now let's factor. Number one, 2x squared plus 13x plus 20. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to create a new trinomial, something that we can factor. We're going to do that by taking this 2, and we're going to slide it to the end by multiplying. So our new trinomial, they're not the same, they're different. 13x plus 4 times 20, sorry, 2 times 20 is 40. Now, this is something we know how to factor. How would you factor that? Make an MC chart. We're multiplying to 40. We're combining to 13. 1 times 40, 2 times 20, 4 times 10, 5 times 8. Which one of those pairs adds up to 40? 41, 22, adds up to 40, sorry, adds up to 13. So we get x 5 and 8, right? So when we factor this, we get x plus 5, x plus 8. But is this the answer to the original problem? If we double distribute, will we get this? No. So we slid that 2 to the side. So we have to do something with that 2 now. What we're going to do is we're going to write it under both the numbers. One of them's going to simplify. What's, which one of these simplifies? 8 over 2. What's 8 divided by 2? 4. So we get x plus 4. Now since this one doesn't divide, we're going to take that 2 and we're going to slide it to the front. Right. And you get 2x plus 5. And you're done. That's it. So first, remember, we slid this 2 to the other side, to the end. We factored something similar. It was not our actual trinomial, though. And then because we multiply by 2, we have to divide by 2. 
the one that does not divide, it slides to the front. Okay? All right, let's try another one. Six x squared plus seventeen x plus ten. Okay. Again, we're gonna make a new trinomial. Multiply six times the end. We get x squared plus seventeen x plus sixty. So now we're gonna factor our new trinomial. What multiplies to sixty combines to seventeen. Pause the video, do it on your own. 1 times 60, 2 times 30, 3 times 20, 4 times 15, 5 times 12, 6 times 10, lots of numbers. Be careful here. Do you see any negatives? Do you see any negatives in this problem? No. Do not pick 3 and 20. 3 and 20 does not give you 17. It gives you 23. We are not subtracting. Be really careful. A lot of people are still making those mistakes during class. We are adding to 17, not subtracting. So we want the 5 and the 12. Okay. X, oops, X plus 5, X plus 12. And then are we done? Is that our answer? No. If we multiply this out, we do not get back to where we started. We slid the 6 over. Now we got to slide it back. So we multiplied by 6. So we divide by 6. One of them divides. 12 divided by 6 is 2. Since the 6 doesn't go into 5, it slides to the front. 6x plus 5. And we're done. Not too horrible. All right, try the next one on your own. X, sorry, 5x squared plus 33x plus 18. Again, pause the video. Try it on your own. Math is not a spectator sport. I slide the 5 to the end, and I create my new trinomial.